Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming to you with an unboxing of the 63 Chevy 2 Station Wagon Customizing Kit. This is a 125th scale. A while back I did one of the one that did not come with an engine. This one comes with a six cylinder engine under the hood as well as a trailer and some custom parts and a Hemi. Here's that uh, old school Hemi built up there. 392 I want to say uh, here's the uh, car with all the custom parts on it. This is the water slide decal sheet that it comes with there. We'll get into that. That's it sort of with a stock front end on there. And these are some custom parts and accessories that come in the kit. So I know I have a couple of these with, the, uh, with no engine. I wanted to see what this one's like so let's share it with you. Let's get in the box and see what we get. Open it up here. Alright, let's see what we have. Okay, so it's modeled in white, which is nice. That's how it comes in the box. Let's get into it. So up first, the body doesn't come in a bag. It's just uh, sitting in the box there. Just like that other one. It's nicely detailed, has nice crisp uh, Chevy 2 logos, the Chevrolet and all the trim on there already molded in. Very nice and crisp, has a gas door molded in here, door handles, very cool. It does have under the hood all of the inner structure and jog shock tower detail molded in and there will be a place you can put a master cylinder and a battery and the horns are molded in in the front here. There you go, lots of potential with this wagon. As I'll show you if you haven't seen my other video. So you get way more parts in this kit than the other one. You have the interior here. The front seat is built right in. It's molded in in the bottom. So if you wanted to modify this car heavily, remove that seat, you'd have to cut it out. The good news is the door panel detail goes right to the floor. It has the gas pedal, brake pedal built right in there. You got the nice texture on the floor, placed with a spare tire. Also, there's a back seat that will go in there. It's very nice. You can see that texture. It's like uh, like lines here. It'll even show up on camera. On this tree here, we have the chassis. Let me flip this over so you can see the chassis detail. The front suspension is here. You got the drive shaft and rear suspension molded in. Fuel tank. This is the spare tire well. Exhaust system. It's really nice detail. Simple, just enough. What you need, you got the steering wheel here. These are inserts for the front here, for the axle, or in this case, I think they provide pins. There's a squirrel here, then the four wheel backs, the dashboard for the Chevy 2 with a radio here and gauges. There'll be uh, decals for that. We have the hood here, Chevrolet molded in the front. Here is the rear seat that glues in. It does have the back molded in and it's hollow. So there's the one side of that tree there and then the back side. Also if you look on the back side of the hood it has all the detail with no uh, lines in it for a uh, hole. This is the tree that does not come in the other kit. You get a custom front end, looks like custom tail end, some roll pan here. Here's a helmet, looks like a face mask, a fan, not even sure that might be for the transmission tunnel, I'm not sure exactly what that is. We have a set of fender skirts here for the rear, some more, this is like a roof rack piece, this is a scoop. We have the six cylinder engine, and I have to say it, it's, uh, it's hard to come by a six cylinder engine of this era. A lot of kits 62 and down you can get, but 63 and up is hard to get. does have a transmission with a two-speed power glide behind it. That's the automatic. You can tell that from the tranny pan. 
everything's kind of molded in the side, the coil, the starter, nothing glues on. You have the valve cover here, air cleaner, which we can see there. This is the alternator belt water pump assembly there. Have the uh, steering column. So that uh, gives a little more detail than the steering wheel built in over there on the other tree. Uh, we have some custom pieces here. We have a battery here, a single pot GM master cylinder, which is correct for the year. An exhaust manifold. Over here we have an intake manifold, radiator detail, and some other aftermarket pieces and a radiator hose. There's that one tree there. Flip it over, that's how it looks on the back side. This is very cool. You get all of uh, the everything for the Hemi here other than the, the chrome parts on one tree. You have both engine halves here with a bell housing aftermarket for drag racing. We have a nice little engine stand here. Belt detail here. We have different intake manifolds. So some different combinations whether you want fuel injection or eight carburetors. This even has another belt detail here. We have cylinder heads here and intake valley pans. So there you go there. I'll flip that over on the other side. Here we have some accessories like jerry cans. Looks like wheel backs for the trailer. These I'm not sure <clears throat> exactly what those are. Probably bottoms to the cans I would say. Okay, so flip it over, there's the back side. And we have here the trailer. I think a similar version of this has also uh, uh, been released in, in uh, upcoming kits. This is uh, the base for the trailer, comes with the tongue and everything built in. Here's a trailer hitch. Here's some uh, toolbox here. We have a rear axle and then some trailer sides, front wall and rear. There's a tailgate, which you should be able to put in there and have open and close. And then we have a couple of fenders here that are very styled to look very 50s, early 60s. There you go. There's one side there. There's the other side. Some chrome plated parts here in two bags. So let me open all this up. We have the tree that's sort of gives you all the pieces for the car. We have the grill with the bumper built in here, a rear bumper, we have rear view mirror, side mirror, tail lights, and the four wheels which are beautifully detailed. This is all the tooling too so it's very nicely done. Flip it over, there's the back side but you'll see the tail light detail here. I think there's even some red parts in here somewhere that will insert into the tail lights. So there you go, there's one side there and then the other. And we got lots of customizing parts. These are all custom parts just to uh, go with that Hemi engine. Here's a blower scoop, we have a timing cover there. These are the eight carburetors. Got some Zoomy style headers. I'm not sure what's going on. This one kind of kicks off here. Here's another style headers here. Another set of exhaust manifold layout there. Or those could even be for intake. I'm not sure. Yeah, it could be intake. Um, you have an oil pan here. This is the blower sort of intake housing. You got valve covers and they say uh, Chrysler firepower and just beautifully molded in there very nice detail you get an aftermarket shifter very cool just admiring the pieces here when I'm looking at this I'm looking at it for the first time there's a set of wheels here I'm not sure if they're just for the trailer there's a couple of got a couple of smoothie wheels there there's a parachute here and looks like another maybe shifter or something like that. There's the one side of that tree and then the back side. 
Here we have sort of like an old school wheel to wheel audio player. You have custom possible tail lights there. This looks like a custom grill piece. We have a jack stand, we have some fog lights, some mirrors, other odds and ends vents and pieces for that roof rack there. So there's uh, one side there. And then there's the back side of that. One more tree and chrome plating. We have some wire wheels here. Those are actually pretty neat. I think they could be used on a project. Very cool. Not very often you get something like that. Have a steering wheel here and a wheel that looks like it's a brake drum. So you can use that jack stand and display it with a wheel off the car. We have a valve cover here, looks like aftermarket intake, alternator, this might be a, a light. There are some custom tail lights and grill here. This is, uh, this is uh, like a uh, car club sign here. We have some aftermarket lights here. All kinds of parts you can put on the model. You can be creative in how you want it to look. So that's one side there. And then there's the other. You get six tires here with a white wall on one side, black wall on the other. They're all the same size. So for the car and the trailer, they're all representing what I would say would be a 13 inch wheel. Here we have the clear parts. Into that. In the kit you get three metal axles for the trailer, the front axle and the rear axle of the car. So you still get that red telephone here that you get with the other kit. Those are the tail light inserts and then over here we have some custom almost like 59, oops, 59 Cadillac style bullets. One of them just fell off here so I'll pick that up couple of custom tail lights there and this is like for a red light very cool with all these parts you can always use them on other kits that's what I like about kits like this get into the clear glass just like the other kit you got all the rear windows molded into one you got headlights there and then you have a front windshield and side vent windows molded in Okay, there's the gloss, very clear, no scratches. Nice how they ship it in bags. So here's kind of a little instruction sheet that comes in there about maybe where you'd want to place some things. There you go. Check out that decal sheet. You get dragsters in two colors, blue, red. You got ambulance. You got license plates, gauge clusters. You get all the neat vintage racing decals here and also some uh, numbers and a lot of decals you can either use on this kit or anything else that you're building that's very cool and then last but not least we have the instruction manual going through with all the assembly pieces of this car there's the trailer Big step one starts over here always with an engine here that six cylinder got the interior there putting it all together and then the customizing you kind of have free range to do as you wish here's for that trailer there it here talks about molding in the aftermarket front end if you want tail end and again, there's a lot of freedom there to do what you want. Here's the different ways you can put that Hemi together. Well, there you have it. That's what you get in the 63 Nova Station Wagon 3-in-1 customizing kit. I recommend it if you're in the hobby shop and you see this one or the other one on the shelf. Spend the extra money by this. Especially if you like extra parts like I do. I uh, did this one a while back. I still have to work on it. There's uh, the car built in its stock form, 
without the engine in it. The hood is glued shut on this one. Very everything fits together really nice. This has to be painted. Back seat has to be glued in and things like that. Anyway, I also did uh, this one here. This is the one I got to finish. I um, want to pick up paint and I want to paint this car and the stock one the same color. But I used the 66 Nova underneath the drag car in here on this kit. Um, you can see a full detailed sort of review on what I did here. What I've done since is there's some interior detail done on the back and I just have to now finish a panel to finish up the rear. I might do that on live, something to do. Anyway that's there's so many things that you can do with this kit. It's worth picking up especially if you love kit bashing and I'm glad I got an extra one just in case I have another idea it's just one of those fun models so if you like these videos please subscribe hit that like button ring that bell for notifications please share and comment as I love reading the comments have yourself a great day thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one